Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys another story, and this story happened when I was year 11, which means I was around Kuo's Ham in Korea, which means I was basically a sophomore in high school for those American students, I think. New Zealand high school actually goes for five years. There was this one teacher that was very famous because she was very, very pretty in every student's eyes. And I went to a boys only high school, so everybody, every student knew about her. But one day, we realized that she was pregnant. And this year, that year that she got pregnant, she happened to be a teacher. And for the first half of the year, she taught us like a normal teacher would do. But after a while, she said that because she has few months until she goes to labor, she is going to take time off work. So basically, mm -hmm. year 11, which is probably one of the most important school years for New Zealand students, she decided to basically drop out of our class and basically leave us on our own with, you know, stupid relievers. And relievers are just substitute tutors, mm -hmm. but we call them relievers, so I'm going to call them relievers. Well, this news became a surprise to a lot of us because, well, this year, this class was very important to a lot of students, but because she decided to take time off, a lot of our grades and our education will be affected by her decision. And I'm not gonna lie, our school had this weird system where, where the substitute teachers would most likely be actually just sports teachers or just other athletic teachers that basically substitute in for any class such as math, English, literally any class just for that day. But because this math teacher, this really, really pretty math teacher decided to take the next few months off, we were basically put up with this reliever, this substitute teacher, until the end of the year. And we had our final exams coming out, which was crazy. But this isn't where shit ends. Oh no, if this shit ends is right there, it wouldn't even be a story. But another thing happens. Our substitute teacher that basically substituted for us, she basically told every student in our class, and this was a math class, just saying, she told every one of us to write an essay about how the public society expected the 9-11 terror bombing. Okay, no, think about this again. A professor substitute teacher comes into your classroom and she tells a group of math students to write an essay, an English essay, on how the society, the public society, expected the 9-11 terror bombing like how the fuck does that make any fucking sense okay i know that it's been like literally four or five years since that happened but that still pisses me off and i remember a lot of our students we told the teacher that she is being fucking idiot but she did not listen to us so i decided to stand up in front of our class and basically called her out on this i told her that she is ridiculous for making us do this and at the same time this topic is so stupid and this is a math class and we have our finals coming up and she really didn't like it so what she told me to do is basically our whole class can take a break and basically not write this essay as long as I write a one page essay about why this topic is stupid and why this class should not have to do this. And you guys probably know I'm no little bitch. I'm not a bitch. So I decided to take on her challenge and I decided to write a two page essay and she only said one page, but I wrote a two page essay on how she's a fucking idiot, how our school basically failed for picking her to substitute us. And at the same time, how she failed as a teacher for making a group of math students write an essay at the same time, how this fucking topic makes no fucking sense because if the public society expected the 9-11 terrorist bombing then this wouldn't fucking be happening and i remember that i was taking no l's i was actually so pissed and a lot of our other students in my class helped me with this essay as well and basically at the end of that one hour that she gave me i sent it to her and basically she gave it to the principal so next few days, I remember the principal constantly coming up to me and questioning me about what I meant in this essay that I basically wrote her. 
But interestingly enough, the principal was actually on my side for not basically picking her, but saying that that topic was so fucking stupid. But unfortunately, because she is a teacher, principal, even though she understood me and she was on my side, she basically had to stand on the teacher's side or else other teachers would basically give her shit for being on the students' side. So basically, she had to give me punishment. So what she decided to do, which I kind of understood her perspective, which is why I just took this detention but she basically gave me a punishment for just having to stay outside the school hours just 30 minutes a bit later. Usually this detention will be one hour and you would basically sit there and not do anything for that one hour but she basically told me that I could sit there for 30 minutes doing my homework so it wasn't actually that bad. She fully understand which perspective I was coming through and she was actually on my side which was good to see that not all teachers are fucking idiots. But this was the first out of many times where a substitute teacher was being a fucking idiot. But this was probably one of the most spiciest because let's be honest if the public fucking expected the 9-11 terrorist bombing then it wouldn't have happened anyways i'm done talking about this if you guys like these types of admc feel free to like subscribe and comment if you guys want to but if you don't i fully understand these are pretty shit <laughs> Well, I hope you guys have a good week. Please keep your seatbelts on, put on some sunscreen, and at the same time, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Ciao for now.